Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Christmas video. So I finally put up like a little Christmas tree um, in my office and I'm feeling like all the vibes right now. So I thought today would be the perfect time to do this, um, if any. And this is kind of going to be like a Christmas wish list slash just gift ideas. Some like other gift guides coming up in the future. But right now I wanted to do kind of just ideas of what to ask for, um, that kind of thing. And to be honest, I don't really give anyone like lists or ideas or anything. I like to make all of my people that I love squirm um no that's not really why I just don't um and so this is kind of just like a list of things that I've kept um for myself that I want to buy myself throughout the year and that's what I'll be sharing today I thought a lot of these were really great ideas for Christmas um and we're just gonna dive right in basically so if you see me like looking at my phone it's because I am looking at my phone at my list because I cannot remember all of these things. First thing is actually my newest addition to this list. I saw it at Target yesterday. It's a nut drink making kit. Um, so it's basically like a little canister or like a mason jar. That, it looks kind of like a coffee French press, but for like nuts and oats. And I saw it at Target yesterday and I just added it to my list. I might grab it next time I'm there, um, but I want to perfect oat milk at home. Like I think that would be really fun. Okay, next, this one's also kind of boring, but it's like those reusable bags that you can store things in, like the food storage bags um, that are reusable. You can also bake in them. Like one that I cook my salmon in and I just cook it in the oven in it and then I just put it into the fridge for the week. Um, I love those and I want like a whole collection of them. They have a really cute selection at Target as well. I think it's by the brand Porter. Um, they have different colors, different sizes and you literally just like dishwash them after they're done and then you, so you can keep reusing them. And then next, also kind of in that same realm of kitchen stuff is like Chamberlain coffee products. Basically, anything from Chamberlain Coffee, Emma Chamberlain's Coffee Company. They have coffee, they have matcha, they have like products, um, mason jars, cold brew, the cold brew packets. I think those are like all on my list right now and I've never tried them before but I've heard so many great things. And I think that kind of stuff in general like coffee, teas, anything like that the person likes or that you like is a great thing to ask for or to get for other people. I always love doing that like a nice crafted coffee bean or something. I don't know. So next is like a gold cowboy boot necklace. I saw one on Maddie Bragg when I was watching a video of hers like a few days ago and I was like that is so amazing. I want that and I looked it up and I think they had some on Etsy and um or just like from a different bunch of different companies on Google but Etsy I saw like a really cool one and I think the gold looks so cool in it. I just love anything cowboy related, cowboy boot related, horse related, you know. Okay, so next is actually perfume by the sponsor of today's video, who is Dossier, which we'll get into in a second, but it's their um, Ambery Saffron perfume, and it's basically supposed to be fired by that Baccarat um, Rouge 540 perfume by Maison Francis, I'll put the name here, but by MFK, basically, and it's supposed to smell really, really good, and that perfume bottle for the little one, I think, is like $300, and then it goes up to like 500 and plus, um, and I've heard so many amazing things this year about it and that's been on my like to smell list and I haven't smelled it yet and so and I think Dossier has it for like $50 and so that's definitely on my list um and then like I said Dossier is actually the sponsor of today's video so thank you Dossier I love working with them um I am a perfume junkie as you guys know Dossier is one of my favorite companies for that perfumes I don't know who they are yet they're basically a fragrance company that recreates or it makes perfumes and scents um inspired by like big brand names brands that you know and love that have a really high price point for their fragrances Dossier creates scents inspired by those basically at like a fraction of the price. They have hundreds of fragrances on their sites and if you sort through them you can find scents inspired by your favorite scents. Find new scents that you've never tried before that you don't want to necessarily try at a higher price point. I love that. And something that I love so much also about Dossier is that they're colorant and UV filter free um, so it's products that are good for you or not bad for you. Um, they're all vegan and cruelty free, paraben free. And they also have a try then decide policy where if you don't love the perfume that you get, you can ship it back for a full refund. And the returns are donated to charity so no perfume bottle ever goes to waste, which is one of my favorite things about them as well. And um, they also give you a little travel size um, scent that goes with the perfume that you buy. And I love that because I stick that one in my purse all the time and then I just like have the same scent that I'm wearing throughout the day and you don't have to like buy a separate thing for it. And the current dossier fragrance that I've been wearing lately is Musky Musk, which is actually inspired by um, Juliet has a guns not a perfume scent. You can actually get it for $17 right now, but originally it's only $30 still, which is a lot better. And this smells so good, you guys. It smells deep, it smells like sexy, it smells so fresh and so clean. It's like a very clean musk. It's not super woody or herby or anything. It's just like basically straight musk. That's how I would describe it. And so I've been switching between this one and then my Oriental Cherry, which you guys know I love, and I'll stop talking about that one. But um, if, if you guys would like to try Dossier, I'll link everything down below. Make sure you check out their site and their
a Black Friday sale, like I said, where you get 40% off of everything and free shipping. Um, and like I said, there's no risk involved, so you can just get a perfume, and if you don't like it, you send it back, which I love so much about them. Because, and I think that's just so important in like a fragrance company because they're so personal and it's hard to buy online, and so I feel like that's a really great option that they have. But yeah, anyway, back to my list. Okay, sorry, the lighting changed like four different times. I just put my lights on because it got dark. I was waiting for my neighbor to cut their lawn, and um, it took forever, and so I was waiting on the daylight. But anyway, we made it. Um, next on my list is Ask and It's Given, a book on law of attraction, and I think that any book um, that's about that I would love, but specifically that one I've heard really, really great things. And I think books in general are a really great idea. And I actually personally have a Kindle, which I love. So Kindle accessories are always a great idea personally for me or anyone I think who has a Kindle, like a case or like a Kindle gift card, because I feel like you can never have enough um, access to Kindle books. And I also have seen like pop sockets for Kindles, which I think would be really cool on my Kindle because like if you're laying down and like you don't want it to fall and everything. Um, so I think that's a great idea if you have a Kindle too. Next I have like a few fashion products. So the Frankie Shop Quilted Jacket in this brown color is top on my list for jackets right now. I love it so much. I love the Frankie Shop in general, any of their coats, but especially this one, I keep seeing on Instagram and I love it. And then we have Sherpa Clogs and I didn't put a specific brand because I literally have seen them everywhere by every brand and I would love any of them. I currently have like one pair, but I kind of want like an actual clog version, like a more platform clog. And they have some by like Charles Keith, Birkenstock, DSW and J. Crew. I've seen. Um, I've seen some on Amazon, any of that kind of thing, just Birkenstocks in general. They have like the ones with like the fur on it that are not clogs, just like the regular sandals, which any of those are on my list. And I have quite a few shoes on my list too. I think I have a couple more too. And another piece of jewelry is this like gold signet ring that has a horse on it. And I loved it when I saw it on Pinterest. I'm seeing it on my Instagram feed too by the brand that sells it, which is actually Bagatiba. I don't know how to say that, but I think it's so beautiful. And just rings in general like that. Any horse jewelry, to be honest, is on my list, but specifically that one. The next I have Acton Acra. Acra? Acer? Okay, I think it's Acton Acre. Like an acre of land. Oh my gosh, hair products? I don't know how to say that, but they're basically like a very luxurious looking hair brand. They have this like scalp renewal product and then this also like this hair mask and they just look beautiful in general, but I've heard really amazing things about them as well and I have a dry scalp, so that is something that I probably should try. Okay, so my top two current favorite sneakers on my wish list are the Margiela um, Reeboks, which are like the tabby Reeboks, I believe, and they are so cute to me. I love them so much, and I know not everyone will love them, but they're on my wish list. Then more on the more normal end of the spectrum are the New Balance 990 Vs, which I think are beautiful. I love them. I didn't used to like them, which is why I haven't gotten them yet, and I finally convinced myself that I love them. I've them styled enough different ways that I think that they're cute, and I like them, and I love the gray ones specifically. They're definitely a want. So next is an updated Taylor Swift calendar. I think my brother-in-law actually got me my Taylor Swift lover one. I thought I got it from Barnes Noble, but then I remember I'm pretty sure he did. And it is my favorite thing in my office. I always use it. I love looking at it. I don't even know if it's out of date, but I still change the thing to the month. I just don't really use the calendar, but I like looking at Taylor Swift. So like, that's what it is. Um, but I think an updated one of those is definitely on my list. I would honestly take like five different calendars of different people that I like. I just think that's a really cool thing to have in your house. And like, if you're going to have a calendar, not make it like your favorite art. And I think I've seen them on Amazon, at Barnes Noble, and at Target, different things like that. Or like they have calendar stores in the, at least at my mall, they definitely have like a calendar like kids bookstore. And I bet you it's in there too. Um, and the next in the same realm, kind of like with singers, um, are concert tickets. I always have concert tickets on my wish list because I would go to every single concert there ever will be or if I could. Um, and I have quite a few artists that I want to see on my list. And I always think that's a great gift idea too. I love getting people concert tickets. That's kind of my sister and I's thing. We always get each other <laughs> concert tickets and then we get to go with each other. So it's kind of like getting like getting us a gift, but also each other a gift at the same time. And then it's like an experience. It makes it so much better that it's an experience. And you remember, oh, I got those for you for Christmas of 2019. And we went and saw the 1975 and it was amazing. And that's what we talk about and what we think about. And so those are always on my list constantly every year. And I think that I've either given or gotten like concert tickets for the past like 10 years. Um, even like just for smaller shows, they don't have to cost a lot. 
and $50 tickets or $30 tickets for general admission. Um, I think those are always such a great experience. Also along that same line are kind of like sports tickets. I always think that's fun. Just experiences in general I think are fun. So next is basically anything from Mackenzie Childs. She has like this checkered collection of things. I don't know if that's just like all of her stuff is checkered, but like a lot of it, if not, is and she makes like tea kettles, spoon rests, anything like that are on my list. I think the spoon rest and the tea kettle are top of my list from her, but anything is amazing. She has these really amazing pots too that look really nice. I saw them on someone's front porch once and I was like, you just know that that's Mackenzie Childs and they just look so beautiful and different and I love them and obviously I love checkered. You guys, I don't know if you can see my chair, but if you guys watch, you know that I love checkered and I think you can never have enough checkered stuff, so it's cute. Next is actually a new phone case, which I don't usually care about phone cases. Um, I currently have my Orion Carlotta one, which I love so much, but it's kind of getting dirty. And I kind of just want to switch it out for something for winter time. It's called Mason de Sabre, and they have this green phone case, which I think is strikingly beautiful. I love this color of green. And they also have like, not them, but a different brand has the puffer case. And I think that's really cool. And that's on my list too. And so it's between those two, or maybe I might end up buying myself that actually within the next week or so, because I really been wanting one. And so anyway, Chanel under eye patches. These are something that I want to buy myself so badly. And I have not cracked myself yet on it. Um, I am like chipping away at it. Every time I see someone on Instagram with them, I'm just like, this much closer to buying them but they just look so amazing and so cool and i think that they're reusable i pretty sure that you put them on and then you have like little droppers and I also think that I would get my mom those for Christmas and I think she would like those it's just like a very fun luxury gift um that no and it's also like by Chanel but it's not like a Chanel bag so it's a lot cheaper than buying something like that for someone but it's just a little more, more fun of a gift but like I said I'm going to buy myself those I don't expect anyone um to buy me that but and then this holiday the label checkered set again I love checkers and I have not bit down on this set yet um bit down I don't know like bought this set yet my sister actually has and I believe she got it secondhand on like Poshmark or something she found a really great deal for it and I would love to do that I should just look there but I've been eyeing it for like over a year now and I just think it's so cute so cozy looking and like comfortable and yeah and next I have like another hair thing because I always see ads for this on my Instagram and I always have it in buy list on Instagram and in my like saves I have a little folder for it and it's the crown affair hair towel and brush another like very luxurious looking hair brand and that hair towel just looks so amazing I think there's something special about it I'm not exactly sure I'll put it here like I figure it out but that and then the hairbrush the hairbrush looks really nice as well Laundress X Le Labo Santal laundry soap detergent whatever and I've heard so many amazing things and I've heard it's really really great and smells good my husband and I just redid our laundry room or we're in the process of it right now and got new washer and dryer so I'm like that's gonna be my excuse to buy myself that is to use it with our new laundry um, system and in our new laundry room just like once. I'm gonna see how it smells and I'll let you guys know, but I'm definitely buying that for myself for Christmas. Just like a fun gift to be gift people because I know a lot of people wouldn't buy that. Like my mom, she, I told her about it and she's like, why would you spend like $50 on laundry detergent? That's stupid. So I'm like, maybe I'll just buy you that because you won't buy yourself it, but it would be fun for her to use and I know she would like it. Obviously who wouldn't like great smelling laundry, right? The next are the Ugg minis. So I currently have like the Ugg Ultra minis and now I have fallen in love with them again. I don't know why I ever stopped wearing Uggs. They're so comfortable, especially in Michigan when it's so cold out. Um, but next I want like the one size bigger and I want them in black so they don't get as dirty. Next are just chunky socks of all sort. Also by Ugg, I saw in Nordstrom that Ugg has like these really cozy looking socks and I think they're only like 15 or $20, but they looked really cozy. I don't know. Next is a Dutch oven, basically for baking bread, Dutch oven from Amazon or Target anything like that you know like a dutch oven i don't know how else to describe it just a cook in i just think they're beautiful i think they're timeless i think they're they are useful then next we have a ghani beanie which i think is so cute i don't know why i just like the ghani logo i like the colors that they come in they look really soft I have an anim bang sweatshirt which i just think are cute and classic next we have olivia wendell blankets so i found this website she makes amazing i don't know if it's her or like a brand or whatever i've never heard of it but i found it randomly by looking up like cool blankets and she has this cat blanket blanket that is so amazing and I'm such a cat lady I want it she also has like a cat and dog one but I think it's sold out which I would want that one if it's not they look like really amazing quality too and then they also have like a zebra one I think it looks really cute as well it's like green and zebra and I just love blankets I could have like a million blankets next are chunky gold hoops that I can wear to sleep and in the shower so I want like really really big thick really nice like gold hoops and I'm going to buy myself them at some point I think by Jennifer Fisher I have to look into it just some that like 
can withstand anything and are okay with getting wet and stuff because I hate taking out my jewelry. Like sometimes I just don't want to take out my jewelry when I shower. And so I would love something that I have the option at least to not. Um, but anyway, just in general, I just want like a nice thick pair of like gold earrings, like a nicer brand. So if you have any recommendations for those, please leave them below. But like I said, Jennifer Fisher is on my list definitely. Um, and I love my, like right now I'm wearing my Majuri ones and I love those too. Um, but I want like really, really thick, like obnoxiously thick gold ones. <laughs> Are moon juice products um, so basically they're like a wellness brand and they have like multivitamins they have uh, vitamins and drink mixes they have like skincare I think now too and just I wanted them for a while but they're definitely pricey and they have this like super U vitamin that I've heard really amazing things about so that's definitely on my list it has been for a while so if you think it's worth it and you've tried it please let me know because that might make me crack down your spine anyway that is my Christmas wish list or my wish list in general at the moment hopefully that gave you some ideas of what to ask for this year or to get for other people that kind of thing but like I said actual gift guides should be coming in the beginning of December um, I'm going to be doing like a little vlog miss kind of like I did last year I uploaded five times a week I'm gonna try my best to do it I might miss it here and there because I know Felix gets neutered on um, the 16th so we'll see about that like how that's gonna work I'm gonna try to be good and get ahead so I won't miss a day or anything because I'm really excited about it this year and yeah that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching if you did like it feel free to subscribe down below let me know what's on your holiday wish list or your wish list in general I would love to hear it and I will talk to you guys next time bye